Welcome everyone. This is another unboxing. This time it's the uh, Jennifer Major Works of Philosophy. When I was um, browsing through the Jennifer books website, this is really my um, my dream book that I want to get. And then I saw the Wheel of Time. Then I bought that too. It's in another video. But this one is gorgeous. When you put it in the bookshelf, it looks gorgeous. But I'm going to show you what it looks like first. Okay. So without further ado, this is the first book. Uh, Voltaire, Candide, and other stories. And this is what it looks like on the side. You just see Voltaire. And there's really nothing on the... There's no inscription there. And then if you open it, it will say the School of Athens, Raphael, 1509-1511, Fresco, Apostolic Place, Vatican City. This is the Candide, and other stories. This is from the Evans Library book version. So it's not really like a special edition for Juniper books. It's just the Everman's library copy. Uh, that's what it looks like. And let me see the printing of this. Um, hmm. It's really hard to tell. Mm. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It has a little gold bookmark. And on the side, Let's see what it looks like. It says L5, L582. Okay, this is 2021. Okay, this is 2021. All right. Second book is Aurelius Meditations. This has a little brown bookmark. This is Aurelius. And uh, two out of eight. Oh, it's the same. It's the same, um, so I think this is the name of the, the painting, The School of Athens by Raphael. Um, again, it's a Every Man's Library version of Meditations. Um, nothing special. I mean, this is not a special book for James Carr. Right there. Let's see. Something. Okay. Confucius is the third book. This is the Analect. Same thing. It says three out of eight. Nothing on the back. Right there. And again, this is Everman's Library. The bookmark is green. Oh, I think you saw it, right? It's, it's green. Right there. The little thing. This is Everman's Library again. Now, for the third, the fourth book is James. Four out of eight. This is, I, I think this is a different version. It's not Evan's version anymore. This feels a little bit more well, uh, more plastic. Uh, William James, writings 1902. Um, the Varieties of Religious Experience, Pragmatism, a Pluralistic, pluralistic Universe, The Meaning of Truth. Truth, <laughs> some problems of philosophy and essay. So this is from the Library of America. The version for this is from the Library of America. And um, in its marker is blue. I think so far, different colors. I'm liking it. Okay. I guess Nitz, Nitz, I, I can't pronounce it. Oh, James. On the side, it looks like this. How pretty is that? This is Nitsky Basic Writings. Okay. This is um, from Modern Library. The Basic Writings of Nitsky. Okay. Let's go. And the Modern Library from New York. That's the version. It's a little bit more. The James is very, pretty luxurious. Um, the Everyone's Library is kind of like your standard paper. This one's a little bit in, uh, uh, in between. It feels paper, pla paper, plastic, ivory. <laughs> and the edition, of course, is not, uh, the printing is not the first edition, of course. I mean, really, you don't expect the first edition, right? And then this is Rousseau. 
the social contract and discourse the side looks like this and this is like six out of eight and again everyone's library okay. and this one has a little green bookmark I kind of like the other ones, like the, the red name. Needs keep doesn't have any bookmark right there. He doesn't have any bookmark. Okay. And finally, we got Plato, Symposium and Pedros. Seven out of eight. Everyone's Library again. Everyone's Library version. Um. The bookmark is crimson, and what it looks like on the back is right there. And finally, this is the eight book Machiavelli, the Prince. Um, this is again Everman's Library. So six, um, six Everman's Library, one modern library of America, and the other one's library of I forgot. <laughs> Again, this is like, I like the really, the, 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 everyone's library. It's not that bad. It's just your regular standard thing. And this one, the bookmark is, um, black. Okay, and this is what looks like on the side. Okay, so I'm going to put them all together. Like, just to see you side by side right there. How do they look like? Okay, I'm just putting them all together. So you can see what it will look like so you have an idea but i'm just gonna uh, this is a thing of beauty like if there's a set of books that you're going to display just for displaying purpose this is it this is the major works of philosophy it's really pretty okay i gotta say this is really pretty it will stand out in any um, library right it looks like a painting right so i'm gonna stand it up so you, you can see later. Uh, I'm doing this with one hand. If you guys see. Right. I'm trying to line it up nicely. You can bear with me. I hope it doesn't fall down. That's the goal. It's not for it to fall down. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Right there. Wonderful. Now, this is what it looks like. When you display it, when they're all compressed together, I think it will look almost prettier. But of course, you're gonna like organize it so that they're like more level with each other. Um, so like, as the, you know, the more they line up, the better. Because that means like, can really see that. Oh, there you go. You see how gorgeous that looks? So, yeah, this is the Juniper Books Major Works of Philosophy. I really suggest that you get them just because of the, the, the book covers worth it. You know, you can, I'm not sure you can buy the, I don't think you can buy the separate covers. You have to buy with the with the book. It's a little pricey, you gotta admit, but I got it on a sale, so that really covered the shipping. Shipping is kind of expensive too, to cover the shipping and the tax. So I kind of bought it without um, shipping and tax with the discount that I got, okay? But it's definitely worth it. Um, it's gonna look good on your bookshelf. It looks like a living art right there. Okay, um, but if you notice, there's also some sort of like overlaps. So if you want to see the full, like I guess image, like, like you can review what the images should look like. Um, that's not interrupted. I mean, they do give a little space, but like most Jennifer books, like The Wheel of Time, they should have put. Um, something, but nobody, I'm not complaining. It's just, 
It looks good like that. I put nothing on it. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you liked the video. And we're going to do more unboxing and I'm going to show you more pretty stuff um, that we get. And uh, I hope you all have a nice um, day.